Hey everybody, I'm getting ready to do some uh, wiring and I'm going to run my outside lights and switches first and some receptacles on the inside and outside. But I'm not going to get into any detail because I'm not an electrician and uh, I wouldn't want to show you something that might get you hurt. And uh, so I, I would suggest any time you build anything to get a licensed uh, electrician. So uh, I spent $438 at Home Depot and uh, I think I got most everything I need but I'll show you what uh, materials I'm going to be using. Okay I already had these wire nuts Bought a 250 foot of the 12 2 with a ground. Got all my, I'm gonna have two doubles and uh, I got them deep, some of them deep, the singles. Got my singles. Here's some more of them. Not all of them are uh, deep. I got some deep here uh, from the lights. You can see the difference in them. Some of them are deep and some of them are shallow. I'll take back whatever I don't use. Brought my, got a square D 100 amp box. Got uh, all my switches, single pole, and breakers. Got all my wall plates. All of them are brown. And I've got my receptacles. So, we'll go around here. I'll show you where my box is going to be. Alright. This is my wood box, and it's going to go this way. I'm going to make it bigger. But my box is going to mount somewhere right in here, this side of them, below my window. And then I got this conduit. I'm going to run underneath the house, run all my wire through it, and come in through the bottom. Okay, I have my dining room light right here. And then I got my outside light to the back porch right here. So it'll be two switches here by the back door. Now come around here. That'll be the light in between the window and the door. There's the other light. It's right in between the window and door too. And what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna get those barn style lights that come out like a little hood hangs out. I think they call them gooseneck. Well, I'm going to uh, put a couple floodlights out here and kind of get an idea if I like the way it casts the light on the front of the cabin. And want to light it right up against the wall because that bottom log might shade most of the light. So if I can get away from the wall a little bit, I think it'll look real good. So we'll look at it after dark. When I bought these lamps from my uh, rabbit. Uh, nest and I don't need them right now but uh, these will be good for mimicking the uh, lamps that I'd like to buy and see I'm using these long bulbs and I want them to kind of break the plane just like uh, like in them lamps at least according to the picture I hope they work like that. Uh, I hope they ain't burn out. I got one more like this that are long. And I'll uh, clamp them on to the uh, boxes I got out there and uh, light them up. All right, I'm going to turn on the outside light. Not sure what what that is. I like 
way it lights that wall up. Got a plain light out here on the porch. I think that looks pretty good. We'll get a better picture. And you can see that you can't pick it up on the camera, but it is bright right here. And it's real bright all in this area. Walls lit up good. See, I'm going to have lights on the ends, so it's going to uh, cast a light on the ends of the porches. I really like the way this door is lit up and the wall. You can see real good all the way out to the end of the porch. And then this other light over here shine across. So I'm happy with it. I think it looks real nice. I think the temperature's dropped about 35 degrees since yesterday afternoon. But uh, that's kind of like the lights hanging out in the daylight. And uh, like I said, right in this area here, see this will be There'll be a light to the right of this window, so this will keep this uh, end of the porch lit up. And there'll be there'll be two lights, one right here between this window and, and the door. And this one over here, so I'll be I'll be uh, running wire today and setting the boxes. And cloudy. See that green patch out there? That's either wild onion or garlic. I'm not sure which. There's a couple other little patches over there. Yeah, and there'll be a light up here too. So I ordered the lights this morning. And they're supposed to be be here in a couple of days. So I keep working on the I'll be working on the front now. Hey, I wanna apologize for uh in the earlier on in this video I was wearing an old t-shirt, you know, my wife, she's sewn it up a couple times and everything. But, you know, I like that old cotton. I kept flashing y'all uh, this white patch up under here. And uh, I I was doing some editing last night and I saw it and I didn't realize it was in there. But I can't redo the video because I've already done the work. But, uh, anyhow, I appreciate y'all watching. And I think I'm going to go in here and build a fire. And, uh, Lord willing, we'll see you later.